morning, guys. Welcome to Patriot Garage. In the shed today, I'm going to run you through the newest member of the Patriot Games fleet, the all-new Azuzu D-Max. Now, if you follow Patriot Games over the past couple of seasons, you'll know we've had a couple of D-Maxes in the fleet now, and we've given away a couple of competitions. And I think it impressed me so much, I've gone and added another new D-Max to the Patriot fleet. Another one. Another one. So we've been using this um, this car here behind me for a lot of development, a lot of testing stuff that we've been doing behind the scenes. It's gonna be a consistent kind of work in progress, this one here. As new products come out, the Pcor, the Pcor team are, are continuing to use this to fit out, do all the testing before they put it into the market. But really what I want to talk to you about today is my my kind of experience with the new D-Max and I'll let you know through the video today the things that I've really noticed between the old model D-Max and the new model D-Max. Now most recently uh, we took this D-Max um, down to St George for one of the races uh, with our race team with the trophy truck. There's a big jump so make sure you're straight. You're good, you're good. Unfortunately we didn't do that well. Shut your engine down, shut it down. I've got a fair amount of seat time in the new D-Max out on the track in a, a, a controlled off-road environment where I, I push the thing maybe a little bit harder than I think people who go and buy one will do, but... We're definitely here, Bob. Here we go. Let's grab another gear. All right, big bumps. We still haven't bottomed out yet. So let's get into it. Patriot Garage on the new Isuzu D-Max. Right, starting at the front, uh, the, the biggest thing that you'll notice with the new D-Max versus the old one is the whole the whole shape. Look, it's a brand new car. Everything's changed. So everything that they've done as far as styling goes, and it carries right through the vehicle into the interior. It is the best looking dual cab ute on the market, in my opinion. You can see the whole grille, the whole front end of it's changed, but we've added a couple of things. Off-road animal, we've been working with these guys um, a little bit. This was one of the prototype uh, bull bars for the new D-Max, same as what we fitted to the competition uh, car. We've gone with a, a hoopless bull bar and that's been starting to become a little bit more of a trend. X-Ray 220 LEDs, watch one of the other uh, loading up garages for a bit of comparison with these things over the HIDs. Absolutely love them and of course, staple item on any vehicle that we build uh, here at Patriot, the GME Whip. We're starting to fit 600 mils on most of the vehicles um, that we're building. If you're gonna build yourself a vehicle for touring that you're gonna use as a daily driver, there's a lot of things you need to consider like vehicle height, getting into car parks, and whips is another big one. Running around town when you go and do the shopping for the whip that's over the, um, over the, over the roof can get pretty annoying when you pull up to a car park and you hit something, you gotta jump out and pull the whip off. So we're running a Pcor 17 by 9 inch rim. This is our multi-fit wheel uh, that's available from Pcor. Fits a lot of the, the modern dual cab utes. The big advantage with the Pcor wheels, like I've said in multiple videos, they are designed for maximum track increase here in Australia. Check out Pcor, have a look at the website. They've got wheels available now that are gonna fit a lot of your standard utes. You'll also notice on this one, we're running the BFG all-terrains. Now with our relationship with Bob Jane Team Arts, We've got this, it's opened the door to so many different tyres now that we're testing, we're using. We found that the BFG all-terrains for a daily driver, we're really happy with them. 265.70.17 on this one, so it's about, a, I think it's about a 31.8 inch or, or 32 inch, somewhere around there. Ensures that the vehicle doesn't scrub. Maximum load sitting there on the Ironman uh, foam cell suspension. Coming around the front, Ironman 12,000 pound winch. Again, this thing's not going to be used as, as a rock crawler or get into the capabilities of this thing a little bit more, but a winch is kind of a bit of a necessity. And especially if uh, Michael and the team are going to be going out and doing product testing on their own, uh, that's something that you definitely need for a recovery. Moving around the side, uh, you'll see the departure angle of the, of the Predator bull bar from Off-Road Animal is definitely something that we've noticed over your more traditional sort of style uh, bull bars. You notice most bull bars have a big skirt that kind of hang down here with the off-road animal bar. You get really good uh, departure angle. You've got recovery points uh, built in there as well. Australian made, designed here in Australia. We love supporting um, Australian made products. So that's definitely something that you need to check out. As well. 
all aluminium. You've got about 70 litres of water inbuilt that's in a poly tank that's sitting underneath the tray. There's an electric pump at the back. Um, you've got headboard lights, so rock lights give you a little bit of ambient light when you're trying to set up a campsite. And you've also got a light that runs over the back. Now the sides of the tray obviously fold down and they can be removed as well. So when we do go and fit the, the three quarter canopy, these will go into the shed. Big advantage of all the PCOR products is central locking. So the central locking on all of the PCOR kits, when you hit the central locking on your car, locks all of your toolboxes if you've got any valuables in there. You can see that electric water pump that I was talking about here. Central locking mechanism, moving around the back, uh, big three quarter rear drawer. You can see that in there. Got some recovery kits. Uh, that looks like a camp chair. Again, this is Michael's car, so don't really know what he carries in there. You can see at the back here, factory tow bar, obviously. There's the water tap I was talking about before with the switch. You've got powered water. PCOR tray retains all of the factory sensors, so your reversing sensors, reverse camera, and all the rest of it. This one here has got the brand new PCOR Trail Connect wiring harness. You can check that out on a Patriot Garage video. Comes with a Red Arc Tow Pro, uh, some, a product that's very, very easy to install if you're towing. You need to have one of these. Aluminium slats on top, tie down points, um, and all the rest of it. Let's jump into the interior because that's the bit I'm really most excited and I can also talk you through the differences that I found with the new D-Max versus the old one. Before I go into all of the, I suppose, the luxury stuff that they've got, let me talk about drivability. Now, still a three litre turbo diesel. This thing here makes 140 kilowatts um, compared to the old D-Max, which is 130 kilowatts. Newton meters, I think this is 450 newton meters versus 430 newton meters. But here's the biggest change, right? And I actually looked this up after I drove this thing down at St. George. This thing makes full torque now at 1600 RPM, the new engine, the new three liter. The old one was making full torque at 2000 RPM. So as soon as you start the key in the new D-Max, you notice if you've driven one of the old ones, you notice straight away that it's, it's completely different. The engine's a lot smoother and quieter, even at idle, um, than the old D-Max was. And like I said, when you actually put your foot down and you start driving this thing, it's a lot smoother, it's a lot more performance orientated for a three litre turbo diesel dual cab ute. Five star ANCAP rating, which I think is getting more and more important to people now these days, especially a lot more people now are buying dual cab utes for dual purpose kind of living. You know, you buy a dual cab ute um, to do to work during the week, but on the weekends, you know, everybody's out touring now, everyone's out camping and on the beach and all the rest of it. The new nine inch screen, got Apple CarPlay, very, very comfortable. Um, this is the LSU model as well. So this is about the mid-range. Now the reason I spec this one is if we went up, uh, LST I think is the next one. The X-Terrain I had a look at, which is top of the range, if I was going to leave the truck standard and not modify it, hands down I'd buy an X-Terrain. But for us, changing the tray, changing the wheels, changing the front end, the interior mods that we do, we just really didn't need to go that far. One thing I did forget to mention, here's another big advantage of buying a D-Max. They come with a factory rear diff lock, yeah? So when it comes to off-road ability now, and I think that's right across the range, check with your Isuzu dealer, um, right across the range, I know from this model up, rear diff lock, massive, massive advantage. Saves you another couple of thousand bucks, something that you don't need to fit. you'll see in the back, so that's, I haven't moved that seat, that's straight out of the front in my driving position. Um, it's not like one of your bigger wagons, obviously. You really gotta consider um, who you're touring with. Younger kids in the back, no dramas. Five blokes up here, like five up crossing the Simpson Desert. You probably wouldn't wanna do that. Can you move your seat up? No. I think four's quite comfy, and again, for, for running around town, um, it's really what you'd expect out of the back of a dual cab ute. So, I'm going to wrap this one up here. The all new D-Max, make sure you check them out. If you're looking at a dual cab ute, definitely consider one of these. Bang for buck, I think this is the best value uh, dual cab ute on the market. 
Compared to the old D-Max, definitely a lot of improvements. Um, aesthetically, safety, capacity, uh, drive line, the rear locker is a massive advantage, the all new engine, the new gearbox, absolutely unbelievable. Make sure you check them out. Uh, the new D-Max LSU, um, you'll see it on the upcoming seasons of Patriot Games.